Today's Men 16 tip is going to be teaching you about the importance of having a check down receiver on every single passing play. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at an offensive tip, but guys, more broadly, our channel exists to help you get better at Madden 16. And, uh, and what we're talking about today is a concept from Bill Walsh, really, and I, I really like the concept and we're going to try to show you how to do it effectively in Madden. Uh, and Madden 16. So the concept is check down receivers, alternate receivers. Uh, Bill Walsh is known for progressive reads, which is primary receiver, secondary receiver, alternate receiver, and even a hot receiver. And what we're taking a look at today is a nice little check down route out of one of my favorite plays in the entire game, uh, and that's the shotgun bunch week. And we're going to flip it. We're in the uh, St. Louis Rams playbook, but you can find this play in other playbooks. And the play is going to be the play PA post. Now, the reason that I, I like this play so much is because it really executes this concept of having a good check down receiver. So PA post is the play we're going to select. And defense, we're just going to go into some random plays to get you some different looks. All right, so what we have in this play is we have a basic core levels concept. So what I want to do, though, is I want to put Darren McFadden on a quick out, and then I want to put Jason Witten on a streak. Now, a cool feature of the shotgun bunch this year is that when you motion the tight end over, you can actually get a nice motion snap, get him a little speed burst. So you'll see here, just snap and go, and you'll see he gets a little uh, interior speed burst. You can high pass that, you know, get your user catch game on going or whatever. But the route that I want to focus on today is this route to Cole Beasley. We're gonna place Cole Beasley on a hitch route. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us a quick read. So we can go to a quick right here, just quick snap throw. Or what we can do is we can wait for the play to develop a little bit. And we're gonna hold left trigger and right on the uh, right stick here. And we're gonna be able to play maker Cole Beasley across the field and that's just a really good read because what it does is, even against man-to-man, -man, it really does destroy it. So we'll show you this again. So he's in man here. Whoops, they had pressure. So we'll show you this here. This is really a, a nice little route because it's just a simple concept, but it does a lot of damage. Uh, so when we playmaker that route, he comes on a little interior crossing route, and it's very difficult to stop in man-to-man -man coverage. And the crossing route, it cuts over the field at a nice depth for it to be a nice check down read against zone blitzes as well as man-to-man -man coverages. So we show you this here. He's in that cover two, and we didn't quite get the playmaker off there. But hopefully you can see the concept. And you can do this from any play. It doesn't have to be this play. This is just one example. Um, so this PA post play, we have quick reads over the top here. And then we have this check down read just in case nothing's open. We could easily check down to that route. And again, we can actually uh, do this from another play too. So verticals, right? What we'll do with this is we'll put Darren McFadden on a hitch route. And then we'll run this same concept, but now we're going to run it to the running back. So the running back comes out of the field here. We play maker him over. We didn't need to go to it right there because it was a blitz. But, you know, if they're in a coverage defense or they, you know, get a good read on us and happen to just lock down whatever it is we're trying to do. We go to our check down receiver here on this little crossing pattern and Darren McFadden uh, gets some nice yardage. So again, this is just a simple concept, but you could do it from several different types of routes and different plays. But really the key is having this concept in your arsenal um, when, you're rock when you're rocking online, when you're starting to put your offensive scheme together, think about on every single play, do I have a check down receiver? Do I have a receiver that's going to get open against any coverage in the game and it's going to be in the opposite direction of what I want to do? So, for example, PA post, it, we're targeting downfield. We're targeting this X route, right? Well, what this check down read is, if they go high with that route, see like right here, we could fit that in because they didn't go, they didn't, they, you know, they stayed down low on the, on the uh, hitch route. But if, for example, maybe they get us a man read and they drop a purple over here on this far right. Well, we now have this crossing pattern to go to. So it's just having a route that's just a really, really good pain of the neck check down read 
Uh, it's essential for your success in Madden 16 and really any Madden on the offensive level. Any great uh, player has a good check down game. So think about this when you're making your offensive schemes. I want to thank you for watching today's video and I want to ask you to let me know what kind of questions or videos you guys are looking for, what kind of things you're expecting from me uh, as a YouTuber, as a video maker of this channel.